Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a fluted lid in Blender. First, let's add either a cube that we can convert into a cylinder or start with a circle. When we add booleans, it does become problematic when we start with a cylinder itself. So I've inserted a circle and if I tab into edit mode, I'm gonna tap F to fill. And in this profile view, I'm going to extend this, extrude on the z-axis with the object selected. I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate this with shift D and move it on the x-axis. If you want to keep the same height as we reduce this to the flute size, you can just adjust the x and y scale. And at the top view, let's get this aligned. Next, we're going to make an array of this flute. So we need to add an empty and plain axes is fine. It should be in the center of your world view. Select the flute and go to add modifier, array, for relative offset, we want all of these to be zero. We want to select object offset. And for the object, we want this empty. For count, this is gonna be how many flutes are around the lid. So I'm gonna go with 45. And as you can see, it has done something very strange. So what we need to do with that flute is we need to apply all of the transformations. To do that, you can either do Command A for this flyout and select all transformations, or it's also located under Object Apply All Transformations. Now what we need to do is on this empty object, we need to change the rotation of the Z axis. And if we do a quick calculation of 360 degrees, divided by 45, we will get eight. So for the Z rotation, I'm gonna do eight. And you can change that accordingly. If you do make any other transformations of that flute, even just a, you know, an adjustment up or down, you're gonna to have to reapply those transformations. What we need to do next is on this middle large circle in edit mode, let's delete the bottom face. And we're going to want to add thickness to that circle. So with the circle selected, go to add modifier, solidify. And I'm going to increase the thickness just so we do not see the flute any longer. Actually, I'm going to go a little thicker. Right, you can make a duplicate of it or go ahead and apply it. Next on the same circle, we're gonna add a modifier, Boolean, and select the flute object. And here is where we can make it a difference where it cuts out or it can be additive you can select union and you would still want to hide that flute. So if we save it out now, let's take a look at what that looks like. You can see the topology is really strange. So what we want to do is let's go ahead and apply the Boolean. And if we tab into edit mode, let's go ahead and select everything and go to mesh, cleanup, limited dissolve. And the more we increase this, the more rudimentary the shape is going to get. We do want to retain some of the complexity. So I'm going to do either 10 or 12 degrees. 
And now we need to go to face, triangulate faces. And if we export from here, the object is now correct. If I back up here a bit, before this Boolean, let's say we want this flute to be slightly beveled. If I go into tab view, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the display. To add a bevel, we will go to the bevel and select this top face and add a slight bevel. We can also do that to the main circle. And you can see now what that would look like. We can also scale this again on, let's say, the Z axis and move it up. You'll see we need to apply that transformation again. We can also change the count still at any time. and the rotation of the empty, respectively. If we wanted to make this lid slightly angled, let's go ahead and select the circle. And tab into edit mode with the x-ray view on. And top view, let's scale this in. And for the flute, I'm going to turn off the flutes again. We're going to want to adjust this on the x-axis. With x-ray on, I'm going to grab the top of the flute and view the top. And we're going to grab this and move it on the, the x-axis. And just again eyeballing this so you can adjust it more closely if you need to. And I'm going to go ahead and apply all of these modifiers. Before we apply the circle modifier, before we apply the circle modifier, select the circle and tab into edit mode. With the object selected, we need to add some edge loops to help with the topography. So type with Command R, we can add more edge loops and you can increase that number by scrolling up on your mouse wheel or down or on your trackpad, scroll up and down. We're going to need to click twice to apply those. And we can independently adjust these if we need to to get closer. So with your edge selected, you can hold down option and select that entire edge and move it up or down. Now we are ready to export. So in object mode, select your circle and flute. Go to file, export, wavefront OBJ. And we're going to drop this into dimension. Before I add materials, I like to go to Object, Generate UVs, and now I can apply materials. And we can adjust the color if you'd like. The 
If you'd like to make this even smoother, you can always go back in and increase topology with subdivisions and shade smooth. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.